Hi, Sagittarius. Okay. We have Temperance, the Major Arcana. We have the Six of Wands, and we have the Queen of Cups. So Temperance, we see the icon figure here, pouring water from one cup to the other. One foot is on earth, one foot is dipped into the pond. So we have a sense here of flowing water, of flowing energy, and of being connected to a physical form. And the water, the, the spirituality, our uh, spiritual self, our spiritual side. So when we think about temperance, we think about the word integration, and it's the blending of all of our, all of our uh, essence, really, our mental state, emotional state, spiritual side, of finding the appropriate balance for all. And how do we do that? Well, you know, sometimes we, we get a sense when we're out of balance because maybe our mood changes, our sleep patterns change, how we react to someone, maybe we overreact. These are little telltale signs of feeling out of balance. Plus, you can measure and appreciate your, you know, your energy levels, that when you're out of balance, you are leaking energy. And it's like you don't have what you need in order to live your life to the fullest, to make the most of it. So with temperance, it's a matter of finding balance, whether that means extra rest, meditation, more exercise, less work, um, more play, more time with friends. You know, you have to find the peace that you're going to try to perhaps ramp up. And so when I think of temperance, I think of really mentally setting myself up for success, which is... I need to focus on my needs. I need to focus on what is happening. Where do I feel the biggest, um, you know, pull that I'm pulled in a certain direction? What do I need to do to try to find more harmony within my own life? And, uh, you know, it's really paying attention. And that paying attention is being loving to yourself and taking care of yourself that when you're in balance and when you feel together, then you're much more powerful in your daily interactions and the things that you want to accomplish, the things that you want to do. And, you know, it is in this hustle and bustle world that we live in, we sometimes neglect what we need, simplicity, rest, good food, uh, social occasions. And we, we maybe we try to do too much um, maybe we feel that we're underwater and that we can't quite get ahead, but this is really such an important message, which is take the time for yourself to restore serenity, the, your equilibrium, your balance, stay away from the extremes. And, you know, uh, if you've been out every night with friends and you're flat out exhausted, but you feel that you have to go, you know, maybe you have to learn to say no. Or to say, not tonight, maybe another night. So with this temperance, we see the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, the rider is riding into town on this beautiful horse, holding his wand with the victory wreath. People are watching. People may be applauding. People are recognizing the effort here and the success that this rider brings in being celebrated, being um, seen as someone who is tall in the saddle and someone who is uh, probably been someone of a leader and someone who is viewed as a success, able to organize and to channel their forces into a successful moment. So on a literal level or a practical level for you, the Six of Wands means that if you've been working your tail off on a work project, and, you know, you may be getting a nice email from the boss. You may be getting a high five from a coworker. You may be getting a bonus or a promotion or something as a result of what you've brought to the table and what you've done. The journey may not have been easy. 
and maybe there's some bumps in the road, but the rider here stands tall and again is being welcomed as someone to watch. They're watching him. So take your moment here to enjoy your reward for whatever it is that you've been working on. If you've been trying to keep to a running schedule to run in a race and you've done well this week, then give yourself props. And so rewards come in many different ways, either through verbal praise or through financial possibilities or, you know, movement up the, the uh, corporate chain, corporate ladder. So enjoy that. And then finally, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, again, we have the idea here of water. We have a full cup. We have someone who is a master of emotions. This queen has the attributes of someone who really understands what it is to be emotionally temperate, emotionally present, and someone who is able to provide support and love and compassion and sympathy without having to do so. This is a natural reflex. It's a natural instinct for this queen to, to be that loving soul. So we can look to our relationships. How are we responding in our relationships? Are we loving? Are we kind? Are we considerate? Are we gentle? Are we needing to focus on emotions for this day? Is there something that you've been repressing or not dealing with that maybe you need to try to let it go or to reveal it? Uh, the Queen of Cups could be someone that you're taking comfort from, someone who is providing you a great ear, um, a, you know, a loving hand. With the Queen of Cups, we think about intuition. And again, intuition and emotion, it's like you get that hunch and you listen to it and you you don't disregard it, but you pay your mind to it. And you're just like, hmm, why am I feeling this way? What's going on? And so as you start to think about that, the in intuition comes out as well as the feelings and the emotions. So pay attention to your feelings and your emotions on this day and listen to the hunches, listen to the messages that come out, the numbers, the words, the things that people say, and think about your relationships, your expressions of love, consideration, friendship, kindness, compassion. Are you providing that resource to someone else or is this just part of how you, I'm sorry, of the providing it to someone else or are you in need of it? And maybe there's someone within your environment, your life, your family, your friends who can serve that purpose. So I really think it's beautiful cards for the day. Very lovely. So we have 14 and 6. It's 20. And 1, 21. 21 reduces to 3. 3 is about group activities. It's about creativity. It's about expressing yourself and the communication. How we talk to each other. How we write to each other. How we interact. And then finally, let's choose an oracle card for the day. So I'm actually going to do two. This one fell out on the floor, so let's do this one first. The Divine Director, Intervention and Purpose. Divine Intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Happiness. Finding balance. Your purpose. And then let's see what the bonus card was. Upside down. I'm going to turn it around. Facing Fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So, you know, whether you want to look at it upside down, that's up to you. I prefer, uh, I prefer to see things as they are with these illustrations with eyes looking right at me. That's just my personal preference. So, listen, two beautiful messages. Facing fear. Understanding that changes are coming for the better and 
for understanding that happiness is your purpose. So friends, this is what I have for you. I hope you found something helpful here. 